I think from now on you should get advice from me. I would love advice. How do I become uh, successful like you? After uh, 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 is that a real? You want a real answer? Yeah, it's a cliche, but it's also every question I would like like to ask you because you would be the right person to give that advice. Um, uh, my real advice to you, um, without any comedy angle, mm-hmm. um, is um, kill yourself. No, I'm kidding. No, I <laughs> no. My real advice. <laughs> my, to mom <laughs> <that> <laughs> my mom already gave me that one. My mom already gave me that one. She yeah. beat you. Yeah. My mom beat you this morning. Um, <laughs> and this is the truth. And there's no um, formula. But you can just see it. Like when you see Jesse Johnson. You know Jesse? Yeah. Yeah. You know, she was, you know, a parking lot girl, door person at the comedy store. Mm-hmm. But the first time I met her, there was just something about her. And you can just tell mm-hmm. instinctually. I have I feel like I have that instinct. And I feel that about you. And um what I want to say to you is, is that as long as you don't quit, because mm-hmm. that's if you quit, it'll never happen. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And it's so fucking weird about life. And if you're committed to one thing, mm-hmm. also don't stretch yourself. You know, when people, I had a friend that goes, oh, I'm in a band, I act, I do comedy, and I paint. Mm-hmm. And he would put all his energy into all those. Uh, and I always tell him to focus on one thing. Yeah. If you focus on one fucking thing and you don't quit, what happens is the community, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, starts looking at you in a different way. Um, they look, oh, she's never going to go away. She's a real comedian. Right, and she's one of us, mm-hmm. right? And what happens is people rise together. Mm-hmm. People pull each other up, pull each other. Like for instance, even you sitting here right now, um, if I had a TV show and um, there was a specific part mm-hmm. that I think that you would be great in, you would be at the top of my list already, right? But if you weren't doing comedy, right, and I never ran into you and I didn't know anything about you, that would never happen, right? So just stay in it. Focus. Focus. Like, I know earlier in your career, you would do things like shove, like, candy bars, like, up your butt and, like, basically do these extreme things. Like, do you suggest that Zhao Ying stays wild in that same way? No candy bars. No candy bars. Because that's my wild. thing. That's my thing. That's stealing. Uh, th- no, um, what I'm saying is, no, I mean, I did those things because um, I'm just a weirdo. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it had to do with anything. You know what I mean? I just, like, you know, my butt's got to eat. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the butt's got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. for Eddie Hong to taste those kind of Asian you are, like he's like a toss the salad, be like, uh, as a pr- premier Korean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I've done some, you know, farting on people. That, I, mean, I don't recommend that. But what I'm saying is, is that never change your comedy. You know, I mean? be, you know it's like, I remember um, people saying, um, you should wear a suit. I heard people tell me you should wear overall, don't wear makeup because you look like you are trying to sell me a house. You should look like a real <laughs> comedian. Uh, girls should be like, uh, like no. not glamorous. I'm like, I'm from the dumpster. I'm, on the, I'm in the world every day yeah. until I die. No, mm-hmm. no, 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 mm-hmm. no. You do what you want to do, man. Yeah, I want right? to look good. And if somebody says you swear too much or they say that like, you know, um, you're too crass, or whatever, don't listen to anybody. You just stay yourself, man. Mm-hmm. Because it's like over the years, they're like, you're not going to make it because, it, I mean... Who I love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, know, I know him. Yeah. We like each other. He's I great. love him. He's one of the f- funniest stand-ups on planet Earth, I think. He's a fucking beast. And him and I are very good friends. And what I'm about to share it with you, right? he's probably not going to like me saying, <laughs> right? But I'm going to share it, okay? I didn't know many, many years ago. This is probably 20 years ago. And <clears throat> he, he, go, he saw my act, and I was like talking about like, jerking off and you know what I mean and just weird you know what I mean just that kind of humor and um, I swore a lot and you know what I mean and um, everything was about my dad or Asian and um, he goes after you um, after you get off I want to talk to you in the back of the uh, laugh factory and he had a conversation with me and he goes you're never gonna get on the tonight show with that act and I go I did the tonight show (laughs) and he goes oh well, you're never going to be on a TV show with that act. I go, I'm on a TV show. And he goes, oh, don't mind me then. And that was the end of the conversation. I can see why he doesn't want you to tell that story. (laughs) (laughs) I love this. Maybe bleep out his name. (laughs) You bleep out his name? Yeah, bleep out his name. Because I know him, he's crazy, and and we're going to have a fight. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Right? And then he's going to record it, and he's one of those guys that's like, why'd you say this? And then fucking play it back to me. (laughs) All right? But that actually happened, and it's like, yeah. I just did what I did, and 
A lot of people aren't going to like it, mm-hmm. but some people are. Okay, you're going to be fine. Yes. All right. Thank you. That's amazing advice. Yeah. No Have you done the road yet or no? Yes, I'm touring. I just got back from I'm um, from New York. I, I did a one week in New York. I'm touring. Where? Uh, 20, April 23rd. Uh, the Cubs almost sold out. I think we had 300 tickets. Wow, in San Francisco? Yes, Cubs. Yeah, I know Cubs. I've been <laughs> in comedy. I know what the fuck it is. <laughs> She's like, that's a tough room to sell, man. 